E W S. It's the Overnight Underground. Here's the headlines. The royal family infected. Oh, it's not dead then. Oh, no. Jackson Brown infected. Well, just stay calm. Just stay calm. Putin dons a hazmat suit. Makes you look like an ass is what he does. Waffle House waffles. Oh, my God. The governor says Florida is a disaster zone. That's a little joker. Coronavirus is causing divorces. I just want to smash your face in. All this and more on today's Overnight Underground News. I'm John Ford. Let's see. Let's spin the coronavirus wheel of news. Oh, my. Prince Charles is tested positive for the nasty. According to The Sun, the 71-year-old future King of England is only displaying mild symptoms and remains, quote, in good health. Meanwhile, the Russian Federation dictator, or president, donned a hazmat suit yesterday as he visited Raccoon City Hospital treating COVID-19 patients. Wait, did I say Raccoon City? I'm in Moscow. Putin said the outbreak in the Russian capital was much worse than the official figures show. Well, it's dead Sherlock. Outside of Mr. Royal McHorse face, Prince Charles, what other celebrity do you think announced they're infected with the virus? Let's spin the wheel again. If you pick Jackson Brown, come on up and pick up your flatbed Ford as a prize. Rolling Stone, a magazine that was once a very important part of music reporting and counterculture, but is now just a shadow of a shadow of a shadow of its former self. Reports said Jackson Brown tested positive for COVID-19. The singer reportedly had mild symptoms and decided that meant it was time to get tested. Now it makes you wonder how the celebs and the wealthy can get tested, but the plebes just stay at home with no tests and cough into their t-shirts. Shit officially got splattered, scattered, chunked, and spunked as Waffle House has announced that it has closed 365 locations across the U.S. The chain released the info on its Facebook page. It looks like our package is finally about to get stimulated. Oh, yes. The Senate and White House reached a deal just after midnight on that $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus package. The bill reportedly includes $1,200 checks to many Americans. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Over $350 billion in loans to small businesses, $130 billion for hospitals, and half a trillion dollars for companies, cities, and states. But don't start counting your chickens just yet. This bill still has to make it through the wicked witch of the house. You wicked old witch! Florida Governor DeSantis sure has been attention whoring himself in the last few days. News today from the Florida man state that the governor wants a state declared a disaster zone. Isn't that kind of redundant for America's favorite retarded state? The total f***ing retard. The declaration would make Florida eligible for federal aid. But it all seems to come down to the Benjamins, don't it? Come on, let's face it, the only time a Floridian should ever receive federal funding is to help Floridians move out of Florida. Just how are police dealing with getting sun worshippers off the beach in Brazil? Why, using helicopters to create sandstorms and blowing sand up the beachgoers' schlitz. I kid you not. On Galita Beach in Brazil, I think that's how it's pronounced anyways. Anyways, it's a beach in Brazil. Police choppers were tasked with enforcing public distancing rules, blowing sand on the beachgoers who were not following the six-foot rule. Check out the video, if you like, on today's Overnight Underground at OvernightUnderground.com. Well, yesterday we had a story about an idiot that took fishbowl cleaner thinking it would keep him from getting coronavirus. Yes, he died. Today we've got a story from Iran where clerics are telling followers to apply violet leaf oil to their rectum to cure the virus. Along with apply directly to the rectum, the violet oil treatment, the cleric also recommends combing your hair and eating lots of apples and onions. Of course, that will make you just buy more toilet paper. It's a vicious cycle. The New York Post is observing that divorce rates are on the uptick since the whole coronavirus and shelter-in-place orders have been instituted. Top divorce attorneys are experiencing a 50% rise in inquiries from potential clients looking to shed their mates. Why? Well, it seems the married folks are actually being forced to live together and discover that their mate really is the insufferable asshole they've always suspected they were. That can also be translated to, the way I'm watching another mather f***ing episode of Grey's Anatomy. Now get out. N-E-W-S.
a mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.